Hey everyone, it's Hilary DeFraitas of Marketing Mom. Glad you're able to join me today. And today what I'm sharing with you are five ways you could monetize your blog, all right? So you're in the online marketing space and you've got a blog set up and everything. And if you haven't gotten a blog set up yet, just follow the link at the end of this video and we will show you step by step how to get that done in a short seven days, okay? So we take all the hard technology out of it and we show you how to set that up really easily and it will be your own self-hosted blog not a blog that you buy from wordpress.com okay this is not that type of blog that drives people crazy all right and then they have to pay more and more money this is going to be a lot simpler all right but when you've got that blog set up you want to start earning money from it right okay you just didn't create your blog to write your life story okay well some people do but if you're a mom like me and you're trying to make money from home, basically you created a blog as a hub, all right, a hub of income. And that's what it is. A blog is really your website. It's your income source. It's your real estate. Think of it like a piece of land that you purchase and you're putting down buildings on it, basically. And then you're going to rent it out. Okay. So five ways five ways for you to monetize this blog that if you don't have you're going to have all right the first is most obvious ads now when i say ads there are two types of ads okay you can have ads that are strictly automated you know from google adwords all right or so google ad, google ads right you create your account and you get all the the, the coding and everything and you just place where you want Google Ads to come up. Now the problem with that is if you've got a a sort of theme, a sort of brand that you really want to be known for, right? Something that you want to emulate, for example. For example, one of my websites is IamCatholic.net and we do have advertising there on it but we are very selective and this is you can do this with your google ads is that you want to make sure that certain ads don't show up on your website at all regardless of what what location anybody is in and that's pretty important in terms of maintaining your brand all right your brand and who you stand for what you stand for all right the next ads that you can actually do are ads that you create all right and you sell ad space on your own website so it's like any other company all right any other company a large company they sell ad space on their website now usually these people will go to like bigger ad agencies and they bid on this space and basically that's how google gets ads out all right but you can do that with smaller companies so there are a lot of companies who um we call them like the the long tail content people all right they're selling something it may be a name of a company that you've never heard of in your life all right and because no one's never heard of because no one has never heard of them they're willing to spend ad money in other places because they probably can't bid as high in the ad networks to get a positioning on cnn.com all right or foxnews.com all right they're not going to be able to spend the type of money that they need to get into that type of arena but they could afford to pay for your $20 ad which is going to run for a month all right or maybe a $20 ad is going to run for two weeks okay now the thing is with your pricing you've got to try and be as competitive as you can but don't outprice yourself to the point where your pricing is the same as Google CNN Fox um, ABC all right they're in a different realm but ads is definitely a way that a lot of people small bloggers small people small business owners could start to earn revenue from your blog and all you have to do is dedicate some space on your on your on your um sidebar widget all right so that's one ads number two featured posts my favorite okay now in a previous video where i talked about with moms ways that they could earn a living featured blog post was one of the examples that i demonstrated there okay what do i mean by a featured blog post so a brand like hire decides that you know what we want to get a little more exposure in x market your blog and website is focused on that market so they approach you to write a blog post about their business about their company or about any topic but just mentioning their business and they pay you a hundred bucks for that blog wow 
that's like five years of hosting, right? It's so worth it, okay? Now, imagine if it wasn't just hired, but it was hired, the Radisson, um, the Loft, um, ooh, Regency, all of these other um, great, you know, resorts, all right? Resorts, all the resorts in um, Las Vegas. They decide to come and ask you to write for them okay and you're writing blog posts for them and literally everything that you're writing is about travel and about them and then all of a sudden your blog turns into a travel blog and guess what other people are going to start asking you to write posts on their behalf and they use that as marketing in their business but they paid you for that blog all right so that is another fantastic way of being able to monetize your blog you don't even have to think about the content because they're the ones that are coming to you and saying write this about my company and that's all you have to do okay so it takes a little effort and writing and if you want to outsource the writing that's an even easier way all right little effort and you're still going to get the reward but that is a per post all right so it's definitely not the, the a long-term automated strategy but definitely one way again that you could monetize your blog all right through actual writing the third way all right we're going to talk about is product recommendations okay so again with product recommendations it's kind of like you've got to be associated with so like an Amazon associate all right you do product recommendations and it's very similar to featured post but it's very product specific okay so if you are mm, let's see say a Samsung phone for example you write a blog post about the Samsung phone all the features all the benefits and everything and all of that stuff and in there there are links to the purchase of a Samsung phone, whether it be on Amazon or on Samsung's website, but you're going to get a commission based on if anybody clicks on those links. All right. That's kind of like the affiliate marketing piece. And then, so that's, that's number three product recommendations, but you basically, you're rec you're making an overt recommendation. So it's not just a blog post about, you know, having fun in the sun and then you mention where you can have fun in the sun is at sandals in st lucia all right totally different to specific product recommendations where the blog post title is going to be the product name um and all of that information okay um so then you've got digital products okay now this could be digital products again that you're affiliated with or digital products that you have created what's a digital product it's a pdf it's a video it's an audio file all right digital products that you sell now on your website remember again your website is your hub it's your real estate so you could create anything and then just house it there hosting it there to sell all right so it could be a downloadable file it could be a downloadable audio whatever the case may be those are digital products you can also sell other people's digital products that again is the affiliate model so when you sell those are the people who pay you a commission for selling their digital products but digital products are very easy to to be sold in various ways online okay so you could have a store with digital products or you could have like you know different blogs to talk about it stores always great because it's just there available and people could read about it and whether they want to buy it or not they click kind of like amazon all right so the fifth way which i love and i have not implemented yet is membership content okay so if you've been blogging for five years you've got tons of content right if for example people who have been blogging for the last 5 10 15 years and they would have been blogging maybe one blog two blogs a week okay let's let's be conservative most of them were blogging once per day all right so we're talking 15 years 365 days a year all right one blog post a day okay that's a lot of content now you can organize that content literally into different membership units so if you were if you were blogging about blogging <laughs> let's just say for example you were blogging about blogging you could create a membership portal and people pay you access to those blogs that are about blogging now you're gonna have a whole lot of free content that's available but it's kind of like the if they want more if they want to get into more details then they got to pay you a monthly membership fee 
to access everything on the blog all right membership content is huge okay because especially as your blog starts to grow you now have a lot of stuff that's out there that it, it, it could be free, but you know what? Most people, when they land on your blog anyway, their website, they go to your resources or blog section, they're not going past page three, right? So literally everything past page three, you could archive and put nicely away in a little membership area and people will pay a monthly fee to access all of that. It's kind of like a magazine subscription, huh? Sounds like a magazine subscription. That's exactly what it is. It's a blog subscription. That's exactly what it is. All right. So going over those five ways that you can monetize your blog, we've got ads, which is the most obvious. Everybody knows about that featured post. We've got product recommendations, both of which are very similar, but a little different. All right. You've got your featured post. And sometimes a featured post could be somebody paying you to write on their blog on your blog all right because they like the content on your blog so much that they're willing and it's very it's not very often that this happens but they're willing to pay you to, to just have their blog their their post their article on your blog they're just willing to do that okay not doesn't happen very often but that is that is one way product recommendations digital products digital products falls underneath that affiliate marketing model okay so when we talked about affiliate marketing we're talking about somebody paying you for selling their stuff basically all right and to learn more about that follow the link at the end of this video all right and then we have membership content so you got tons of blog posts on your blog lock them away in a vault and make people pay a monthly fee for it all right so those are the five ways glad you were able to join me today and we'll see you for more training videos don't forget to subscribe to the channel wherever that button may be and follow the link at the bottom there that's coming up and at the end of the video when we're finished with this video all right so that you can learn more about how to start maybe selling your own digital products online all right have a great one and i'll talk to you soon bye